Hello everyone, Panda here, and welcome to a norm vlog. I thought it was about time that I just, uh, actually no, I didn't think it was about time at all. I'm just freaking hungry and I want some food and I want to go shopping, I want to go to Asda's. And um, yeah, I thought, you know what, I can do this. I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to do a yog, a, a yog vod, a freaking norm vlog. Jesus Christ. How's it going everyone? Hope it's going really well. Uh, if you missed the other day, what was it? It was yesterday at the moment, but probably two days ago for most of you watching this. We had the first night of me, Nazi and Zylus doing the Yogg's Cast uh, charity Jingle Jam live stream, in which in three hours we managed to raise $27,500 for some super charities. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't fucking believe it. Um, it was pretty impressive if I'm, you know, just gonna toot my own horn there, but uh, it was pretty impressive. We did pretty damn good, and uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with myself. Uh, I hope you've all been doing really good. I have been missing some uh, some daily uploads. I realise. I apologise profusely for that. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. I've just been waking up super late, like waking up at two like two p.m which personally is like an ideal time for me to wake up, like that's my favourite time to wake up because I'm a night owl, you know, I like to be up in the night um, which is why at 2.30 in the morning I'm driving through the centre of town where I live, which is Brighton, on the southeast coast of the UK but um, that's why I'm driving out now, going to go get some food because, you know, I like the night time the night time is where it's at for me, you know, I watch a lot of Twitch and you know, this is the time that Americans are on doing funny things, and I like that, you know? I like that a lot. But I'm um, sorry I've missed some uploads. I will try and get back into the swing of things. What I'm just waiting for, really, is the new Dying Light expansion, which is not really an expansion. It's like a full game, as far as what I've heard. They might as well have just called it Dying Light 2. Uh, they said that the expansion's going to have, wait for it, bigger land, like a bigger map, than all three of the maps that are in Dying Light 1. So if they do that, that's not really an expansion, that's a new freaking game. But uh, it sounds awesome, and I really can't wait for it. It's coming in February. I just need like something to sink my teeth into until then. Uh, I have been streaming, still on a schedule. We're actually on a schedule now. I did 101 days of streaming every single day, and then Fallout 4 came out, and I said, all right, we're switching to schedule. So if you're interested, I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Friday and Saturday, starting at 4pm UK time, uh, which is, if you're in Sydney, Australia, I actually looked this up the other day, if you're in Sydney, Australia, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, so um, better see you Americans there, uh, Australians there, uh, if you're in Los Angeles, that's 8 o'clock in the morning, so a nice panda stream to wake you up, and if you're in New York, it's at 11am? shit. Is that wrong? No, that's right. 11 a.m. And we've been having a good time on the stream. We've been streaming some DayZ mod. We've been doing some Flame in the Flood runs, which honestly, having people there to shout at me is making me so much better at the game. Like, so much better. And uh, I've been having a really good time with Flame in the Flood, and I can't wait to try and beat uh, Kiwo's record. She managed to get 43 days with, like, 50-plus miles down the river. I have no idea how she pulled that off, but um, it's very impressive. It's very impressive, and one day, I would like to be able to get that far myself. But, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for that game to come. You know, that game that I'm gonna do YouTube content on, and then it's fine, you know, it's stuff that you can put out regularly. I can go and record two hours of a story game, and then put it out in segments, like everyone else does, and, you know, it's just super. But mainly at the moment, I'm doing sort of roguelike games, one-off games that you've gotta go, record and then that's it you know that's one video so um wait, i've already passed the speed camera no there it is i mean not that it matters because i'm obeying the speed limit but uh just good to just good to know where it is there it is the little fucker can you see it yeah you can see it on the right hand side all right all right i'm not speeding i'm not speeding you naughty little camera right super i can't wait for a freaking big mac and some Nuggets. Oh man, it's been so long since I had a McDonald's. And I'm kind of looking forward to it. I don't really have a particular point to this story. I'm just rambling. Ooh! 
Well, this is not really a good point. I suppose, okay, so on Sunday, this Sunday, I think, the 14th? No, Monday. Yeah, Monday, the 14th, is our second Yogscast charity stream with Nalzi and Zales, and it's also my birthday. So it's Panda's birthday special or something. I don't know what Nalzi's called the stream, something like that, but I will be streaming on my channel first, and then at 8 p.m. we go over to the Yogscast channel, and we're gonna have some fun, try and raise some more freaking awesome monies, and um, I would really like it if you guys could come along. So that's 8 p.m. GMT on Monday the 14th. Which if you're in Australia, no, I don't I have no idea. I have no idea. But I'm sure you can figure it out, you know? I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, but I just wanted to have a nice little chat and a nice little drive. I love this drive. Like, this drive is really nice. And look at these apartments here. Like, you see all these things on the left here? They look like big, just white monstrosities of concrete. But those things inside are super freaking nice. Very, uh, devious, I guess. I don't know. That's obviously why they're so freaking expensive. They look like shit on the outside, though. Right, we're nearly at the marina. Nearly at my destination. It's so cold. I had to sit here in my car for like 10 minutes, warming up the windows so I could actually record this bloody vlog. Which is fine, because it only stimulated my hunger further, but... It's just cold, you know? It's just cold in the UK. We haven't had any snow yet. Apparently, actually, in the north of England, like up in the sort of, not Scotland, but sort of north England, uh, apparently ridiculous storms and flooding or something. Um, which sounds shit. Honestly, sounds really shit. Like where we are now, everything's on a massive hill and the hill points straight down to the sea. Like that over there, there, that's the sea. This is all sea. We're on a gigantic cliff right here. If I drove straight forward, I'd fall probably about 70 feet in my car. And uh, I don't know, my car might go like boom, like in Just Cause 3, but probably not. Probably just, just splat. Um, damn, you know, I did have a lot of fun with Just Cause 3 when I was streaming it, but um, I don't know, people seem to be slagging the game off massively. I don't see any issue with it really. I mean, it's a sandbox game, you know? The game is there for you to go, fuck around, blow stuff up. That's it, you know, there is a storyline, but you don't really have to do the story. I had fun for three solid days of playing it, like a lot of hours a day, and I did like five story missions. I mean, I don't know how many there are. I assume there's a freaking shitload of them. But yeah, I only did a couple and I had a grand old time. So I think I might actually get home Eat my McDonald's. I've actually got the day off tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow, so I get to, you know, stay up late and do whatever I want to do. Might play some Just Cause, go and blow some shit up, and just have a good time, you know? Just get in my helicopter, get my missiles, and just go and blow up a bunch of assholes. I'm not really entirely sure what happens once you conquer the entire map, but I did that with Fallout uh, Far Cry 3. I went and conquered every single, like, settlement, uh, what were they called? Outpost? Every single outpost on the map. And then I pretty much just drove around, like, uncontested. So I wonder if it's like that in Just Cause 3. If you take every single village back, and every single town, do you just... Is there no enemies? I don't know, that sounds a bit shit, really. Um, but I have done most of them. Oh, look, we got Christmas lights up. How fantastic. Um, wait, what is that? It's a fucking... No one behind me? It's a fucking Christmas octopus. Focus on that camera. It's a Christmas octopus. Well, was not expecting that. Anyway, I'm popping into Asda here. Gonna go get myself some bread and some food. I definitely want bread though, because I've got ham and I've got sandwich fillings, but I don't have any bread. I'm gonna go get some stuff here, guys. Thank you for watching. Just a bit of a random one. Not really any point to it whatsoever, but thanks for watching and chilling out with me and keeping me company while I drive down to get some late night food. Oh, and there's no cars here. It should be absolutely empty. My favourite. I will catch you guys soon. Have a great day. Whoops. Have a great day and um, panda out.